India's Ministry of Defense is preparing to procure 40 to 80 medium transport aircraft to replace the IAF's aging in 32s with Lockheed Martin's C-130J, Embraer's KC-390, and Airbus's A-400M, competing under make in India. The DAC is likely to approve the plan by December 2025, with a tender in early 2026. The chosen platform will be built in India, boosting local production and filling the crucial airlift gap between the C-295 and C-17 fleets. The Indian Army's The Raptor Brigade, alongside mechanized units of Sudarshan Chakra and Connaught Corps, is executing high-tempo aviation mechanized drills under Exercise Trishal, conducted jointly by the Navy, Army and Air Force across Rajasthan, Gujarat, and the North Arabian Sea. The exercise tests real-time interoperability, networked operations and multi-domain coordination. Key missions include surveillance, heliborne ops and amphibious maneuvers, validating integrated warfighting readiness under Southern and Western Command leadership. India's CVRDE in partnership with Ashok Leland has developed a 600-horsepower V8 diesel engine that will power both the DRDO's WAP 8x8 and the Army's upcoming future infantry combat vehicle FICV. Designed under the Atmanurba Bharat initiative, the engine offers top efficiency and reliability, replacing aging BMP2 vehicles. After 100-plus hours of testing and Automotive Research Association of India's validation, it's now ready for integration, boosting mobility, power and indigenous content in India's mechanized fleet. After the Rampage high-speed low-drag Mark II, blasted PAF hangars in Operation Sindhor, the IAF is pushing a $1 billion TOT to produce the 250-kilometer supersonic air-launched missile domestically. Battle-proven, solid-fuel and global navigation satellite systems resilient, it fits Jaguars, Su-30 MKIs and carriers. Bharat Dynamics Limited is the likely lead for 70% indigenization within three years, filling a gap until DRDO's Panaka Air variant matures by 2030. HAL will start deliveries of the HTT-40 basic trainer aircraft to the IAF in early 2026, after engine delays from Honeywell pushed timelines by few months. The first 10 aircraft will come from Bengaluru, with the rest built at Nashik, to meet the 70 aircraft order by March 2029. The HTT-40, a tandem-seat turboprop trainer designed to phase out aging HPT-32 DPUC fleets, represents a cornerstone of India's self-reliant aviation training ecosystem. HAL will use interim Category B engines for flight validation, ensuring pilot training readiness and advancing India's indigenous aviation capability. India's Defense Ministry is finalizing a deal with Israel for transfer of technology to locally produce two advanced missiles, the Air Laura Ballistic Missile and the Icebreaker Cruise Missile. Built for GPS-denied and high-threat zones, these 300 to 400 km range weapons will be manufactured by BEL and HAL. Integration on Su-30 MKI and Tejas MK-1A jets is planned, with trials by 2027 to 28. The move strengthens India's precision strike and anti-access area denial capabilities amid regional tensions. HAL is advancing its CATS Warrior drone program with the two-ton unmanned combat aerial vehicle slated for first flight by late 2026. Using AI-driven systems tested on the Kiran optional manned unmanned combat aircraft platform, the drone will support fighters like Tejas and Rafaeli in strike and reconnaissance missions. A larger five-ton Warrior II, powered by DRDO's HTFE-25 engine, is planned for 2028 to 29, featuring greater range, payload and autonomy for advanced loyal wingman operations. In a key boost to India's fighter jet program, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited on Friday signed a deal with G Aerospace, 
to procure 113 F404 GAN20 jet engines for the Tejas MK1A aircraft. Deliveries will begin in 2027 and conclude by 2032, supporting the production of 97 MK1A jets under a Rs. 62,370 crore defense ministry contract finalized in September. The single-engine multi-role Tejas fighter, designed for air defense, strike and maritime missions, will receive a significant propulsion upgrade through this agreement, further cementing India's growing aerospace partnership with the U.S. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh confirmed that India is close to approving its first indigenously manufactured fifth-generation fighter jet engine, developed jointly with Francis Safran. The Cabinet Committee on Security is expected to clear the project soon, ensuring full technology transfer and domestic production. The 110 to 125 kilonewton engine will power the AMCA stealth fighter, with a Bengaluru facility set to produce 200 plus units annually by 2040. Backed by rupees 15,000 crore for prototypes and 75% indigenization targets, the Howlett SPV aims for AMCA MK1 rollout by 2028 and full production by 2035 marking a major leap in India's aerospace self-reliance. A senior Indian Air Force official has revealed to news media that Russia's Su-57E fighter suffers from major stealth deficiencies, chiefly its exposed rear engine panels, which sharply increase radar and infrared visibility. The issue rooted in the Su-27's legacy design makes the jet a thermal beacon compromising survivability in BVR combat. While Russia has promised composite heat shield panels to reduce infrared emissions by up to 50%, Indian officials remain unconvinced. The assessment could complicate New Delhi's evaluation of the Su-57E amid interest in filling squadron gaps before the indigenous AMC stealth fighter enters service. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.